Hello everyone and welcome to part 7 of my Pantone postcard series. Before I begin, um, I have two cats on my desk during this whole video, so if you see furry feet or a furry tail, that's what it is. I have completed 22 out of 100 of these Pantone postcards. Here are the completed ones so far. I'm very excited to see what I can create today. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe and let's see what I can come up with for today's postcards. The first color postcard I am starting off with for today is Morning Mist, and I am going to be starting off by using my Posca pens because you know how I love these and these are so much fun to use on here. My white Posca wasn't quite working how I wanted it to. I see people use their white Posca and it works so well and is super opaque, but I haven't had a lot of luck with that so far, so I just need to keep messing with it, I guess. But the prompt morning mist, which I kind of took as a prompt for this, reminded me of clouds. So I decided to start off by drawing in some white painted Posca pen clouds on top of this thing. And then I decided to completely color them in and I went back and added these stripes with the Posca pen just to make it a little more even later on. After I had all of these white clouds drawn out, then I wanted to add in another shade of blue. I just felt like it would fit and help the clouds to pop out a little bit more from the postcard since the white wasn't as vibrant as I wanted it to be. I still felt like I didn't have enough going on in the postcard, so I decided to add some little white hearts in the background, and this is how the first one turned out. Pretty simple, but pretty cute, and I think it goes with the theme Morning Mist. Now here is the next postcard, which is just some random numbers. So for this one, I could kind of go with whatever prompt I wanted, and I decided to bring in a gel pen for this one, specifically a silver jelly roll gel pen, and I started off by drawing this moon with these little shiny parts around it, and I decided to keep on going with that celestial type of theme, including stars, moon, little sun designs, so I decided to treat this like a little pattern and just make it all over the postcards, only using this silver gel pen, and I think it turned out really well, and I really love the design of this one, and I love, love, love gel pens. I don't know if I love gel pens or Posca pens more, because I love both of them, but gel pens are just so smooth and magical and they created this beautiful scene on here so I love them very much this is how this one turned out and I love how it shines in the light and makes the silver just pop off the page and now it's time for the next one which actually did have a name and this one is moon rock so even though I just did a celestial theme I still want it to stick to the theme of the moon rock, so I decided to do another type of celestial theme on this one, complete with a moon and matching stars as well. For this one, I decided to make the moon look like it was kind of holding the stars, and I decided to use my blue gel pen because I felt like this would look really good on the kind of brown-gray background that was the Pantone postcard. So I decided to give it a try with this blue gel pen, and it worked really well. It's so reflective though, it's kind of crazy to draw with, but then I added in some more details, filling in the little spaces on the moon, like the craters and that kind of thing and then I went around the outside and added in some stars and then this one was complete and the difference in color when it hits the light is insanely reflective and just so cool so now it's time for the next one which also is nameless if you couldn't tell by now, I kind of got in a jelly roll gel pen kick and I just couldn't stop using them so for this one, I decided to go ahead and test out the green gel pen because I hadn't used that color yet. And the inspiration was a mermaid tail. So that's what I created for this one. Drew in the scales, drew in the fin, and then I used the blue jelly roll gel pen to add in some water and to make it look like it was splashing into the ocean. Then this postcard was complete as well, and the green is also insanely reflective. When it hits the light, you almost can't even see it because it's so blinding. And now it's time for the next one, which does have a name, but it's basically just like deep blue. So I decided to kind of ignore it and just keep on testing out the gel pens. And I hadn't used gold yet, and I felt like it would just really pop off of the blue. 
since gold has a lot of orange in it. So I decided to go ahead and draw whatever I wanted for this one and just go along with it. And I took inspiration from the dragon comic I made in my last video. So I decided to redraw that dragon in gold on this Pantone postcard and I think it turned out really cool. It was a little tricky to try and think about only doing the lines and not trying to worry too much about anything else because if I added shading I would blur out what I was trying to define. So this was a really fun one to do and I think it turned out really really cool and I love the effect of the gold. It looks like it was almost engraved onto the postcard which is a lot of fun and this one turned out to be one of my favorites. Wipe off the cat hair and this is how it looks. I think it is so cool and again just super reflective and now it is time for the final postcard which is this light pink kind of color and I have to use the lash gel pen as well push the cat's tail out of the way and let's get started on this one for this idea I also took inspiration from the comic I did in the last video and decided to redraw my cloud castle that I made I think this is so fun and I definitely couldn't leave out the purple gel pen at this point I tested every other one out on this so I couldn't leave the purple out then it would feel left out so we had to test it too I just redrew the cloud castle exactly how it was before and I had a lot of fun doing this the gel pens draw really smoothly on this Pantone postcard kind of material they are very plasticky feeling and are coated with this really shiny material so some things don't always stick super well on there but these did even though they took forever to dry so definitely had to keep that in mind and then I decided to add in some gold as well just to emphasize that the windows had light in them and I also decided to add streaks of light to the windows to also show that the inside has some warmth in there and finally I finished everything off by adding in these gold stars around the entire castle and I think it looks pretty magical and the purple shined a lot a lot and changed color very much based on whether or not it was in the light or not and I love that. I wanted to show you guys them in the sun too because the amount of reflection and just how cool these gel pens are is insane, especially the blue one. I mean, look at how electric that blue gets when it hits the light, and it was so much fun to use these. Here are all of them completed. I had a lot of fun doing this, and now I have 27 complete. Still a long way to go, but I'm very excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.